So welcome to this next tutorial where we create the comments table. Now if I build this and create the comments table, um, I will sh show you that in, in Laravel there is a concept that is used to take care of the problem we are about to create because in comments we need our comments table to be linked to all the other tables. All right? We want people to be able to add comments on people's user profile as um, a sort of appraisals and add comments on uh, on companies add comments on projects and on tasks all right so in laravel takes care of it using the the concept laravel calls polymorphic relations so i'll show you where you can go and read it up if you go to laravel under eloquent relationships you will see um laravel documentation under relationships you will um, if you scroll down you will see polymorphic relationships so if i click on this now it takes me to polymorphic relationships so a quick overview there's a post model according to the example there it has an id and title and body then there's a videos it has an id title and url but then comment has to belong to both of them that's a polymorphic relationship so to create it we we'll create a comment model that has id body then it has something called commentable id and commentable type the commentable id will be an integer which means when we're creating the comment record after the user has typed in their text or whatever they consider to be the comment we are going to enter the id of the model they are entering the comment into so if they were on a posts page and they're adding comment to post so we take the id of the post and add in commentable id then in commentable type we'll just type post so Laravel automatically, once Laravel sees post, it automatically knows that the comment is under a post, then it will look for the ID of the post. If the user was on videos and wanted to add a comment to videos, we'll just add video here. That's the name of the model. Then we'll add ID, the ID of the video. I hope you understand how it works now. So what we're going to do is to quickly go to our code. Now we've, create, we've created a comment table. What we'll do is first of all we add uh, the body of the comment. Uh, the body of the comment is a long text, long text. And then we we'll call it body. And then the we'll start looking at the polymorphic relationship. First of all, it has to belong to a user. So we can say first of all integer the user will want to keep track of the user that is creating the comment assigned so we can just say user id all right so we now know the user that um, that is creating this comment so the next thing we need to know is which of these models is this comment coming under so to do that we will have to create the a field that we'll call commentable id so now um it's not only in comments that you have polymorphic relationships if you were working on uh, a tax table that you, so that your users can add tax to any of your other models you can call it taggable id you understand so it's going to be an integer so if this was a tag table we'll just say taggable taggable id like that taggable all right, but this is a comment uh, table, so we'll call it commentable ID. So um, that's what Laravel expects from you. So signed, and then we're gonna do the commentable type table. The type is string, so we're gonna call it the commentable type is a commentable type. All right. So this sorts our problem. So the commentable type will always have the model. And um, what else do we need in a URL? Okay, because this is a project management system. We want people to be able to say, add a comment to a project and say, I've completed this task. And um, they have to show proof that they completed it or what somebody has to check. So um, what they're going to do is to um, put a link to what they have done for the day. So we'll have to create... Uh, a table uh, string the string will be a URL to what they have done for the day alright a proof to what they have done for the day 
so like this they can add a url now we need this url to be of a certain length like that we need very long so that um it can contain what we want so we just want to make sure that the length is long enough for us so we'll enter the length here 255 we want it to be uh, a relatively long url okay it can contain a relatively long url and that's the same thing we can do in all of the other things now what something else we have to do in all, all our models is to make sure that they can be nullable so which fields are null and which fields aren't uh, can be null all right but before then let's just complete this now we need to make reference tell it that this is a foreign key so we'll just do what we did in the tasks table just copy this and come to comment and we will um, just add it somewhere underneath i like to give a space and say that the user id belongs to the users table users okay so uh, i think that, that is basically what we need then we have to start looking at which fields can be null for instance uh the comments can be empty well the url may be empty we can say uh nullable so we we'll do a quick run through comment table it can be null it can be null and then that's it so if we go back to our tasks table we'll just make sure that the project id of the task can be null the user id can be null the task name okay and the days um is an integer um, so we can just null it both of them they can be null initially and then oops all right um and then we're back to where we were the company id id of the company well we can make it null the user id no the user must be the project ID can be no company ID okay so we're done with this we go to the create projects the name of the project can be no the description well the description can be no company ID um, the com the ID the company belongs to yeah, the project belongs to can be no user ID no the user must must know the user that entered it the days or the length of days okay and the uh, user ID cool so we'll go for the companies and we're almost through the name of the company must be there but the description of the company can be null user id um okay we must know the user that created it and that's okay for us for now and then of course so the next thing we're going to do is to create one more table that will be the join table because um we need to be able to add users to companies and then we'll need to be able to add users to projects so a user has and belongs to many projects a user has and belongs to many companies so if somebody creates a project you need to be able to add users to that project all right so we need to create a joint table between the users table and the projects table all right see you in the next video where we sort that out